What's poppin' YouTube? Funko Fanatic Dags back again. A lot of boxes today. I filmed. These are my third and fourth boxes. I had the Game of Thrones mystery box, which I don't know, be either before or after this video. I'm not sure. Um, I had the McFarlane, which I don't know. It may or may not be on the channel, so I'll just show you now. Probably won't post the video because it was really short. But I got the McFarlane icy Viserion. So instead of having a separate video. I'll just show you in this video. It's awesome. Let me know if you pick this up. I got this from Entertainment Earth, but Target did have this in stores I saw. I could have waited it instead of pre-ordering. But this is what I wanted to show you. Now, we have a box from Amazon. It's just one pop that I pre-ordered a month ago. And this big box from Barnes & Noble. All Funko Pops. I don't know where I'm going to put these, but I had to pick them up. Um, I've been going, you guys know, to, uh, to, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, my number one. Um, I have all, uh, basically all the commons. I'm missing the real, real grails. Um, the, everything they put out is a must. I need that Nymeria. I don't know why. Maybe that goes live on Friday or something. Um, but I do Star Wars, you know. This is a set that I really wanted. Um, and I'll tell you the deal I got on this. First, let's start with Amazon. It's just going to be one pop. I'm a little worried about condition. I hope they're shipping better. Like the hyenas... They were shipped good. So let's see how this is shipped. Um, it was prime shipping. So again, this was like, uh, was it $10.99? I think it is. Shipped. Um, it's the one thing I'd like about Amazon. It's free shipping. But um, their shipping has been skeptical a lot in the past. I need a new knife, guys. And I know people have been commenting. I need a new knife. And I do. I'm going to have to buy one really soon. Because this one is done. It's lived its day. Come on. I have to like cut it like a tree. I don't want to flash my address either. That's another issue. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so Amazon's doing a better job. Sorry, I got that open. It is in a uh, another box, which is awesome. Now I don't know what kind of label this is. Pop Disney Fossil Butte Pop Seventeen. I'm really happy with Amazon for double boxing like this. Or is Amazon learning? So it should be in good condition. There's no way it got damaged in shipping. If it's damaged, they shipped it to me that way. Did I order one or two? Okay, so it's in here like this. Really good shipping job. No way this got damaged in shipping. Boom. Did I order just one? I think so. Okay, so that was in there like that. Good job by Amazon. And we have the... And the box is, is pretty good. Um, we have the Amazon exclusive Flying Buzz Lightyear. Love the Amazon sticker. Um, I think it's my only... This is only my second pop with the Amazon sticker besides the... Uh, Pennywise, um, but yeah, this is awesome, and it's the flying one, so his hands are on his uh, hips, and he's like flying upwards, the common one, he's flying, he's just flying straight like that, um, I was debating, do I want the common, or do I want this version, and I kind of wanted this one, because it's like the classic Buzz pose, like to infinity and beyond, I, I just feel like him flying like this, um, I do have the 20th anniversary buzz and I have Mrs. Nesbitt, but that's kind of different. I have the 20th anniversary buzz But he has the helmet on this one. He doesn't so I can kind of justify it, but Toy Story 4 I cannot wait for these pops look amazing Okay next This big box from Barnes & Noble, which you guys are probably wondering what in the world Did he buy and I'm wondering the same thing because I don't have the room for it, guys. The Funko keeps coming out with stuff. Um, box is down. I, I worry about ordering this many pops. 
boxes that getting damaged, especially from Barnes and Noble. Um, if it was Hot Topic or Box Lunch, typically they're pretty good. Um, or if you order from like a, a store that specializes in big orders, like like a Shumi or you know Popping Off Toys or State of Comics, you know a store that 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 people does pre-orders. A store like this doesn't typically. Um, do this, and they're not going to be double boxed. So I'm sure there's going to be damages in here. This came at like six o'clock at night because they use that laser ship thing. Okay, so they got all these air bubbles on top. Oh my god! All right, this is so risky. They're just all just laying in there. So, with no bubble wrap, really. Just a couple things on top. Alright, this is a mess. Let me get all this shit out. I don't know, Barnes & Noble, they just pack a bunch of, like, toothbrush shit. Who wants this? Gift card. Uh, how many gift cards have I got? Dinner, free dinner, Harry Shave Club. Like, I, as... Like a business, I don't understand. Look, AARP like junk mail. Why is junk mail coming in my my package? You know what I mean? I I don't get that. I I really don't. From the side, the pops look okay. We'll see though. So we'll start with the one eyeball. So first of all, I just want to let you guys know, I got these nine pops. These nine pops in here, for a total. Of, it's not even on here. Before a total, I remember of fifty three dollars. Fifty three dollars. Uh, the deal was buy three for twenty dollars, which already is a great deal in itself. Three for twenty in stores. Now, if you did it online on Earth Day Monday, this past Monday, you got ten dollars off of fifty. So I ordered nine. So that's three. That's sixty dollars. Plus ten dollars off is fifty, and I get free shipping because I'm a member. I got nine pops shipped to me for fifty three dollars. That's incredible. And to get a whole set, almost a whole set. Sorry, there's more. The big line uh, is incredible. We'll start with the one oddball. There was eight from the one set I wanted. There was one oddball that I didn't have that I really wanted. So we'll start with that one. Again, I hope the boxes are good on these. Just from the side, if you guys could see. Boom. We'll see how these go. It's already going to be a longer video. So the first one, box is pretty good. The other thing we got to worry about is the paint job. But this box is good. Pass is the test to me. Uh, nothing to complain about here. We got the gold patina. Sorry, the patina Stanley. I love, you see guys how this is like, um, what do they call that? Like foil? Up here, up here. This is a great pop. This is my second Stanley. I have the uh, security guard one from Winter Soldier. This one's awesome. I really like this pop icons line. Um, back is really cool. Hero, Hero Initiative. Um, it's a shame, you know, he's not with us anymore. But I got the gold uh, patina Stanley. I haven't been able to find him anywhere in store. I didn't pre-order him, so I'm happy to have like a statue-esque version of Stan the Man Lee. Um, love Marvel and everything he's done. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to put these. Okay. Let's get into the whole set here that I got. First up. New character. Box. Looks good. Is Gabby Gabby. <laughs> she's pretty big. I didn't know she's going to be this sizable. That's sizable. Gabby Gabby. And this one's interesting. Um, this Toy Story 4 set is huge. You guys saw you got the buzz. There's different exclusive, exclusives. Before I ordered this, there was an exclusive version of her um, that came out after of its whole, whole, her holding Forky, uh, like the Hot Topic Woody holding Forky. Um, but, you know, I didn't get that one. The common's good enough for me. Um, and it's funny because my girlfriend is Gab. Gabby. Some people call her. She doesn't like when I call her Gabby. But everyone else calls her Gabby. So it's funny because she, she likes Gabby Gabby. You know, we don't know anything about this character yet, um, but it's a cool one. Happy to have it. Box is good. 
Okay, next up, we're going to get the new characters first. We have Combat Carl Jr. Box is good on the front, which is the most important to me. Just some, um, like, dust residue. Um, but box is pretty good. Combat Carl Jr. Now, he's small. He's pretty small. And he was in... He was in a recent uh, movie. The detail on these... I'm going to do a, 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 a video because his arm joints look like a classic figure joint. See, how, see his elbow joint? That's how it's supposed to be. Like The detail on these is amazing. I'm definitely going to do a whole video um, when I get all of them in. Probably um, close when the movie comes out in June, I believe. I'm going to review them all. But here he is. Combat Carl Jr. Box is good. Happy to have him. New character. We'll see how he is. But he has been in other uh, Pixar movies as like... Um, he's like a cameo, kind of like a hit Easter egg. Okay. Another new character. Let's go on this side. The end. Boom. Box is pretty good. I'm surprised right now. We have Duke Kaboom. Oh, I didn't even notice he's wearing like a whole Canadian outfit. Uh, so if you're Canadian, this is a must-have for you. He's got the maple leaf on his belt, the whole, whole kit and caboodle. Um, Duke Kaboom. Again, I don't know anything about his character. Um, he was not in Toy Story 1, 2, or 3 to my knowledge. If he was, it would probably been like a minor uh, cameo. But Duke Kaboom. Very cool, and I don't believe there is an exclusive version yet of Combat Carl Jr. or Duke Kaboom. Just these two commons as far as I know. I love the box design, too, for these. Okay, we have one more new character who has, who seems to be getting a lot of hype in this, in this haul. So this one does have uh, minor damage, but I'm happy to have it. Um, the minor damage is literally just, it's not even that bad. There's like a crease in the corner in a certain light up here. Um, it's not a rip or anything, so it's not that bad. Very light pop. I mean, this pop is, might be like the lightest pop I ever felt in my life, honestly. Um, it's Forky, as you guys know. There is an exclusive version of him. Um, yeah, so you guys can see that crease right here, kind of. That's the only issue so far. Um, but again, it's just a comment. There is an exclusive version of him. I actually preferred the common more. The, I could have bought, bought the exclusive. It's exclusive to GameStop. And it's him instead of smiling like this, of him frowning. I don't know. The smile just I li it appealed to me more. Um, the fork, and he's got his arms tied again. Uh, he's got like a rainbow on his on his foot. Um, forky. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how he does in the movie. Okay, I think now we're at all the the characters that we all know and love. So, up first, we have the Bo Peep Common. Uh, box is pretty good. Window has like a weird, you know, line on it. But I actually like the Common more than the exclusive version. There is an exclusive version to Bo Peep. Um, I like the Common more because I like her outfit and pose and everything about her in this one. And you get Officer McGick. You get Officer Giggle McDimples, like a bonus pop. I know Pop Fun to Play loves the bonus pops. I do too. I love when they include. It feels like you're getting more for your money, getting like a little mystery mini or whatever. So that's really cool. I'm cool to see how this dynamic plays out in the movie. Bo Peep looks a like killer. Uh, I have the original classic Bo Peep, you know, pink outfit, girly girl. Now they're making her into like this badass, like warrior kind of thing, um, and I can get down with that. So the common Bo Peep box is perfect. Barnes & Noble. I don't know if it's luck or whatever, but Barnes & Noble. I, I'm really liking Barnes & Noble, but I want to speak too soon, though. Okay. Now, crazily apart... No, by the way, when I did this deal, you, I wasn't really supposed to be allowed to use that um, Earth Day 10 all 50 thing, but it worked with the deal. So I don't know what happened. And this pop also worked with the deal, which wasn't supposed to work with the deal either. And we got an exclusive. We got a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Bo Peep. Um, box is good. And this is obviously, you see the difference in her pose. It's like the fighting pose you see in the trailer. She's got her cane hook thing. Um, man, Bo Peep looks awesome. Yeah. Fighting pose. That's the Barnes & Noble exclusive. So now I have three versions of Bo Peep. The original version, the 
Common Toy Story 4, and the Barnes Noble. But I had to pick Barnes Noble deal to get an exclusive for five. All these pops came out to five fifty-five. Pay five bucks a five bucks a piece for brand new pop. All these are brand new. Like literally just came out. I said forget. I was gonna pick them up with hot cash and box lunch money. Forget that, man. This is awesome. Bo Peep, Barnes and Noble exclusive. Okay, two pops that I was really most excited for. They're just commons. But I, I have my Toy Story set. I have Rex. I have Ham. I have the whole 20th anniversary set minus the non-metallic Army Man and minus the black and white Woody. But I have all those. I don't have any of the originals. And the characters I'm missing are Zerg. I really want Zerg. Don't. He's too expensive. Really want Prospect or Pete. Don't make him. Um... These two characters are very expensive. They have pops, but they got remade. And I'm so happy now I can have them in my collection without having to spend a ton of money. So up first, we have Jesse. Yes! I've been wanting this one so long. Um, finally got Jesse. Um, definitely got to put her next to my Woody um, and Buzz. Uh, no, no, Woody and Bullseye. Um, this is awesome. Finally got Jesse and looks way better than the original version. Um, as far as I know, I don't believe there's an exclusive yet of her. Um, so happy to have it. Yep, Jesse. Okay, and last but not least, in this Monster 9 Pop Hall for $53, the one I wanted the most, yes, yes, is Alien. Box is good. They all came pretty good. The forky with the minor damage. This thing... Is awesome. I wanted this. I have to get another one of these. <laughs> I, I love this. Um, yeah, this is cool. Now, again, no exclusive version to my knowledge. Um, I can definitely see them doing a glow in the dark version of this. They have a mystery mini. I could definitely see them doing a glow in the dark version of this, like for Comic Con or something. You know how big Toy Story 4 is. And Comic Con's a month after it comes out. There's going to be a comp SDCC exclusive. There has to be. Um, this pop's awesome. I'm definitely doing an out-of-box review of all these. Pizza Planet outfit and everything. So, guys, that was my Barnes & Noble haul. This huge box. Everything was just shipped in here. Just kind of just thrown in here. Again, this is big. This is a big box. Nine pops. $53. Ship. No shipping. That's the total price I paid. I hope you guys took advantage of it. I don't know if it's still online, the 3 for 20. But if it is, definitely pick up pops you want or the toys. You don't have to get 90, you get 3 for 20, whatever. $50, the 10 off of 50 was only good for um, Monday. But today I saw there's a 20% off of 50. So maybe you can use that. It says you can't combine, but it let me combine. I don't know if I got lucky or whatnot. But again, real quick recap. Of this massive haul, not from Barnes and Noble, just from Am obviously it's from Amazon exclusive. Came good, very good packaging by Amazon. Ten ninety nine. Got the Buzz Lightyear Amazon exclusive. I'm not gonna get the common. I like this Amazon one better, believe it or not. They're both cool, but I went with the Amazon one. From Barnes and Noble, nine pops, fifty three dollars. Up first, the oddball, but I really wanted it. Stanley, had to have them. Had them on the website. Had to pick them up from an icon set. New Star, uh, Star Wars. Toy Story 4. Brand new. Just came out Monday. Order the Monday. Came on Wednesday. Jessie. Finally got a remake of her that I've been missing. The exclusive. Bo Peep. Let me order it. $5.50. $5.55 for a ex brand new exclusive Barnes & Noble. Not even a common. Love it. Like the common more, but I said for $5.55. I gotta pick up the exclusive. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked this one up. But because I could get it in the deal, because I could have got it in the deal, I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Have, I would have passed on that one, even though it is cool. The alien, my favorite of the entire set, must have for me. Must have. I loved. I mean, I grew up with Toy Story. I was born in '96. Toy Story four. Uh, Toy Story one came out in '95. Toy Story two came out in '99. Toy Story three, 2010. I grew up with, with these movies. Okay. New characters that I don't know how they're going to be, but I got them. So if I watch the movie and I love them, good. This is the only one with slight damage in the corner. It's Forky. Uh, there's the exclusive GameStop one. Like I said, frowning. I'm going to pass on him. Just too many. The 
Two, three, four line is insane. Um, Duke Kaboom. This one's really cool. Happy to have him. I wasn't going to get these new characters, but when they were all available on the website for the price they were, I picked them up. Combat Carl Jr. Again, another new character. We'll see how he is. I don't even know who the villain is. Could be any of these. One of these people could be the villains. Forky, any of these people. Gabby Gabby could be the villain. There she is. And last but not least, the common Bo Peep with Officer Giggle McDimples. Awesome. So guys, that is my haul. I'm going to do another video of... Now, there's some characters I didn't get. Obviously, there's three characters I did not get. I didn't get Sheriff Woody. Um, there is an exclusive Hot Topic, him holding Forky, and the Common. I want the Common with the lasso, so I will probably order the Common with Box Launch Money or something. Um, and there's two more that I did not get, and that is Ducky and Bunny. They were on the website. The reason I did not get them is because there are flocked variants to each. Uh, FYE got the flocked Ducky, Target got the flocked Bunny. I will give you a spoiler for a future video. Unboxing's coming for those. So, I would have the whole set to uh, my own chagrin of space and everything and money. But again, these were steel. Um, so, I'll have all the variants. Not all the variants, but I'll have every character represented it. Um, and that's, that's what I wanted. So, I'm sure there's going to be more coming. So, you know, if you guys like these, I'm going to do a whole video on them because they're really cool. So, guys... Leave a comment down below. Did you take advantage of the Barnes & Noble 3 for 20 sale? And also, what are your thoughts on the Toy Story 4? Did you pick any of them up? I cannot wait for the movie. Um, and I animated, pop, animated characters, to me, look the best in pop form. They just do. They, they look awesome. Um, they, they translate really well than human characters, to me. So, guys... Leave a comment down below. Did you pick up any of the toy stores? Did you use the Barnes & Noble sale? And what are your thoughts on this, I think, amazing deal? Probably one of the best deals I ever got. Brand new pops. So, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next time.